Heat closings and delays. The extreme temperatures force Baltimore area students out of the classroom. The ongoing heated debate as yet another school day is affected. Hello everyone, I'm Vic Carter. I'm Mary Bubala. For the second day in a row, dozens of schools in Baltimore City will close early tomorrow due to the heat. And in Baltimore County, the same 10 schools that were closed today will be closed again tomorrow. And you can see all those schools that are affected scrolling across the bottom of our screen. WJZ is live with team coverage. Avajoy Burnett with why this is becoming a political back and forth tonight. Avajoy? Well, Mary, the forecast for the first day of school, hot and humid, not a good combination when you have no AC units in some classrooms. And that forced leaders in the city and in Baltimore County to make some tough decisions. Even before the first week is complete, hundreds of Baltimore County students will miss 100% of their classes. In the city, there was early dismissal for 70 schools, an equation that's not sitting well with some parents. It's very frustrating because we waited this long to get them back in school. The problem, no AC. It was good, but it's kind of hot in there. In Baltimore County, 10 schools did not open, period. And with more searing temperatures predicted for Wednesday, this will happen again. And so when we decide that it is going to be a potential health risk, then we make that uh, call in the best interest of our students. Schools being too hot or too cold has been an ongoing heated debate. In January, these pictures surfaced of students shivering in cold Baltimore City classrooms. The governor said leaders mismanaged money that should have fixed the problem. I think it's outrageous and, and disgraceful. Fast forward a few months, the subject matter is the same. When you get hundreds of millions of dollars and you have tens of thousands of kids who can't go to school because you don't have air conditioning, that's, that's, that's disgraceful. Baltimore City CEO Stonia Santelises has said her district doesn't get enough money from the state. We have a plan we've submitted to the state, so we have year by year uh, targets for schools that are not being renovated to have air conditioning. On Tuesday, when numerous schools had to close three hours early, the mayor said she'll be pushing for more funding. We're grateful for all the funds that we receive, and we expect to receive more. Thank you. And this heat issue isn't only affecting local school districts. Today, Prince George's County Public Schools announced that every single one of their schools will close two hours early on Wednesday. For a full list of the schools impacted in our area, go to WJZ.com. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.